What's up, everybody? JD Raider here hopping over from Matt 2 to commentate this match because it's freaking Levi Haynes versus Keegan O'Toole, NCAA champion versus NCAA champion. Now it's 79 kilos. Both these wrestlers moving up in weight. And neither one looking too small either. So O'Toole getting warm for passivity first. Headlock position, Keaton grounding himself, sliding to the edge. That call likely will be grounded. Levi Haynes falling to Jordan Burroughs on the front side. O'Toole to Marsteller. Jordan Burroughs taking match one in that final series. Matches two and three of need will go down at 3 p.m. Eastern. And Kiki getting more passivity. They're going to let this position play out before they call him for passivity. They're going to let Levi get the opportunity to score. He's not able to. So Keegan's going to go on the shot clock. Swim high crotch for O'Toole. Haynes pops O'Toole's head to the inside. He can pull that leg in. Haynes has got to take it back, slide off. He can pops his head to the outside. Now bringing his right hand to it. Haynes trying to break that grip, but Keegan O'Toole, unreal grip strength, holding on for his life right now. And he's gonna do it, gonna hold on for the stalemate. Low shot attempt for O'Toole. Point, the only point of the match so far, one to zero in favor of Levi Haynes. Keegan O'Toole confirmed moving up to 174 pounds this year. Still a lot of questions surrounding Levi Haynes' plans for this season. Will he go 174? Will he redshirt? I'm not sure if even he knows yet at this point. Trying to get on the senior national team now. Fighting back for third place as a Kansi semi. There's a single leg from Haynes, dropping in good sprawl from O'Toole. It's going chest wrap. Trying to slide back and break that lock of Haynes. Haynes pulling himself in, popping his head to the outside, looking to get big. O'Toole turning down. It's gonna give up the takedown. Levi Haynes with the first takedown of the match, now in the lead, three to zero. Attack Levi Haynes. Again, spot from O'Toole. Haynes was able to pull himself in and pop his head to the outside last time. O'Toole in a little bit better position here. He likes to lock in the crotch there and work. O'Toole's corner, Kendrick Maple, telling him to look. 
to that post high crotch. See if he goes to it. He's got a minute 50 to work. Right side wrist control for O'Toole. Working underhook. The body is a tool now. Drag go behind. Haynes gets to the single leg. Pulls his head away from the thigh though. So he's gonna have to limp arm out of this. Now looking to finish across the front. He's got a tool in the air, taking him to the edge. Gonna look for a head cartwheel in four. Only gonna get one point though on the step out. Good hip pressure from Haynes. Flattens O'Toole out. O'Toole still has this lock. He's gonna hold on for the stalemate though. Official put him back on their feet with 51 seconds to go. O'Toole's been able to get to the legs a couple times. Hasn't been able to finish yet though. Trying to get back to that right leg of Levi Haynes. Position. Haynes glances at the clock. He's got 30 seconds. So he's just going to hold on here. Again, O'Toole looking for that swim high crotch. Good down block by Haynes. He's got O'Toole's ankle running corner. He's gonna come close to finishing this. And he will attack on an extra two points to make your final score six to zero. Levi Haynes just took out multiple time NC champion and junior world champion Keegan O'Toole at 79 kilograms. This man wrestled 157 pounds last season. He's gonna be a force.